Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Tonight, we get to take an early look at Farming Simulator 20 for the iOS and Android. This is, this is on uh, an iPhone, hence the low resolution quality. <laughs> uh, thanks to Giants once again for letting us get into this, and, and uh, I'm going to start a new game with no nothing. Uh, basically, this is the Android version of Farm Sim 19 with uh, some stripped out features. The game is a little bit um, more on the mobile end as far as uh, options go, um, but it is quite uh, a fully featured game. The graphics are great. Um, man, that thing's noisy. Wow. And... Uh, one of the cool things that I just figured out as I was messing around with the demo here, uh, you double click on the uh, device and you can actually go inside it. So that's new for the mobile games. I don't believe, and I never really played 18 much, I don't believe you could get in the cab on 18, but we can get in the cab on 20. So that's pretty cool that we have an in the cab view now, uh, and it's pretty good actually. And you can actually look around the cab and just like you can in the full featured game for the PC and Xbox. Frame rates are pretty good. Um, I do have the graphic settings on ultra high. You could turn that probably down and get better graphics or better frame rates, I mean. But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. Whoops. Stop. So we have a new map for this uh, version of the game. And we also have, uh, this is the first time that I think that Farm Sim has been fully 3D since the... Uh, uh, on any kind of mobile device. Uh, usually it's kind of like a 2D map with some 3D tractors on it, but we actually have a full 3D map on this one. And it's pretty dang detailed and pretty dang good looking. Now, once again, uh, it's blowing up a little bit for you guys. Um, on my phone, it looks extraordinarily good. I'm going to hire a worker here and let him do some work. But for a... Mobile device, this is, you know, I remember when mobile device gaming was like, you know, uh, well, Angry Birds, <laughs> you know, and that was like as good as the graphics got. You couldn't do 3D games on mobile devices, so now you can. See over here to the right is our cow pasture. We have that built into the map now, too. Uh, this map is supposed to be in the United States. I still think it kind of looks a little bit European. It's kind of a cross between Ravenport and... Uh, Felsbrunn. But I would say, once again, they're going for kind of a California or Montana type look. Um, no train on the map, uh, but just gorge it is gorgeous scenery. As you can see here, it's very beautiful. Um, so just kind of spend a couple minutes here enjoying the graphics of the game and, and just seeing what's new. And, and then we'll take a map tour and we'll go through what's... Uh, Oh, looks like the hired workers are great still. He's lost. <laughs> oh, boy. And he's already cost me $30. Man, you better do better than that if you're going to charge me so much money. Let's go ahead and grab the Fent. And uh, we need to get our tipper. Now, I'm not very good at steering, so you know, don't laugh at me if I'm driving all over my crop. Uh, this game does not have crop destruction in it like it does on the PC version, so don't worry about running over crops. From what I can tell in the App Store, the game's going to run about $5.99 uh, US dollars. It will be um, available uh, also on the Switch. Not sure. I think it's going to be $40 on the Switch. I'm hoping they add a little bit more uh, full features for that price to the game because at $5.99, it's a great game. At $30 or $40, it's that's kind of pricey. But anyway, I don't know. Switch games are always expensive. So I'm hoping the Switch version is a little bit more uh, full featured, but we'll see. Um, it probably will play better on the Switch because if you've got fat fingers like mine, you don't have to worry about the... Not being able to steer or steering like an idiot. But the graphics are, you know, I don't want to say they're as good as 19's graphics, uh, but they're not bad. They really aren't. They're really good graphics. Uh, they're better than 17's graphics for sure. Um, 
and uh, I'm just excited for where they're going with this. Like I said, it's pretty cool to be able to play almost Farm Sim 19 on your phone. You know, it's pretty neat stuff. So we'll go ahead and unload here and see what that looks like. What do you think? What do you guys think? Pretty cool, huh? Like I said, this is a, a pretty neat upgrade to our farm sim experience. So we're going to let this guy flip around once again. Seems like you're, Okay, so the hours seem to be about five minutes, three minutes, something like that. So time is on a much faster scale in this game. And you do not have the ability to adjust your time scale. So if you're used to that from the, the PC or, or uh, console edition, it's, uh, it's not in this game. Once again, they've taken the ability to control day and night. I will say this after playing for a little bit. The nighttime textures in this game, or nighttime... Eh, oh, Lord. Not the textures, but the nighttime... Uh, uh, it doesn't get as dark as it does on the PC version. I kind of like that because you can you can still work at night and see what you're doing. It, things don't just go totally black like they do on the uh, console version. Obviously, the workers are terrible. <laughs> what is this guy doing? It's because the trees are here, and he's getting he's trying not to hit the trees. But that, that's a long turnaround to pay somebody. You're you're paying for all that uh, klutz time. All right, so we're going to do a running a running unload. Am I that good? Almost. Almost. Oh, 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 yeah, we got it. And we are going to have some glitching going on because, um, once again, I'm running this from my iPhone using screen sharing. So when the Internet gets choppy, we're going to get choppy. So I apologize for the chops right now, but... All right, so they, you know, the, the graphics, the grain graphics are the same as they are on 19. That's pretty cool. Hopefully he'll stop at the end and let us unload all the way. Nope, he's going to keep going. Oh, he must be empty. Okay, well, that's good. So we'll pull over here and get out of his way and let him continue working. And uh, while he's doing that, let's go ahead and take a look at the store. So... There's many uh, different equipments in the store. <laughs> and uh, first of all, one of the things that they've changed, the reason they can make the, the game five ninety nine is because they're doing this. Um, you can buy money for coins. So if you want uh, 200000 bucks, yeah, you just pay $0.99. Cents. <laughs> and for $3, you get quite a bargain. You get a million coins for $3. So it is where, yeah, I... Whatever. I mean, people want to do this. That's cool. Uh, to me, it's kind of annoying, but whatever. We have trucks. We got a man, TGS, and a Roadrunner. So we do have some of the trucks from uh, the full-featured game. We have a Forge Harvester with an X-Collect. We do not have the grass pickup tool or the um, mower. But we do have a uh, Crone Big M to make up for the, mo the missing mower on this. Uh, we also have the Pot Pottinger Mex 5, so we can make silage without having to buy a really expensive 1180 Forge Harvester, because that's a pricey piece of equipment. Interestingly, we have for the Beats, we have both the Ropa, which is smaller, and then the larger uh, Terados, along with a Grimmy uh, Pull Behind Harvester for uh, Sugar Beets. Got a lot of tipper choices, including the Wilson trailer, so that's cool. If you want to do the American-style uh, semi-truck with the trailers, they got them. Uh, we have Cedars. Uh, there's a new one, the Jet M, that's not included in the Farm Sim uh, game on PC or console. You'll notice that the Lemkin is missing the front attachment. I believe this game does not have front attachments. Um, so we only have rear attachment devices, so that's why that's missing. Uh, we also cannot customize the devices like we do in Farm Sim. What you see is what you get, so... We have two spreaders. This one cannot be extended. Uh, there's no lime in the game, so don't worry about buying lime. We just have to worry about crops. Um, I don't believe there's lime. Let me see. Hang on. Does this carry lime? Nope. We have slurry spreaders. And just one page of those. So that's it. Uh, we have tetters. Cool. All three sizes. 
Loading wagons, three different sizes. Animal feeding devices. We also have this lizard uh, trailer, which I really like. We can use that to pull bales around the farm and do that kind of stuff. It says wool, so I guess it just carries wool. Never mind. Uh, and then we have animal trailers. You've got to buy animal trailers in order to buy uh, animals. You can't, uh, and you have to have, like, if you're going to do horses, you have to buy the horse trailer. You can't use any of these trailers for horses. So uh, we also have the water trailers for water and milk for the uh, cows and other animals that need water. Uh, and then going along there, we have one tr one pickup truck available. Once again, I don't think there'll be mods for this because it is Android um, and iOS, so it's probably going to be where this is what we have. Here's a bunch of different tractors. We have a Vulture A Fent. We have a New Holland uh, 175. We have a Case. The Case tractor is cool because this one has the best horsepower for the price uh, at uh, 260 horsepower, and you already own one when you start, so you've got one already, which is cool. Um, we've got the more modern Steyr and Max 145, or the Maxim. We also have a fast track from JCB, 6250R from John Deere. A lot of people are going to be happy about that. I know people have been wanting John Deere in the game. Um, got a Deutz uh, 93040 TTB. We also have another John Deere 8400R. We don't have a tracked version of the John Deeres, though, but we do have two Fent. Uh, we have a Fent and a Challenger um, track tractor. And we also have the quad track, which is great, and a Fent uh, 1050 Vario 500 horsepower tractor, I think. Yeah, 517 and 692. Yeah, some serious horsepower tractors. Harvesters. We have the New Holland that we're starting with. We also have this John Deere uh, Harvester, which is great. And then we have the Fent Ideal 90. And, the, of course, the headers that match those harvesters. We've got potatoes, taters. Uh, basically, these are planters and harvesters for potatoes. Uh, I don't see, uh, I guess we do have fertilizing equipment. I wonder how the fertilizing is going to work. We'll find that gameplay stuff out later, but uh, right now we're just kind of tuning the equipment. We have a full a suite of cotton technology equipment. We've got the full suite of cultivators. Uh, everything's in one on this one. We've got five cultivators picked from. There's no plows. Uh, we do have a culti plow though, but uh, you don't have to plow in this game. So, uh, but we have a full suite of cultivators. Um, we have sprayers. We have the uh, now front. Once again, you'll notice there's no front units. So we got the mega, the metris, and the rubicon. All three of those are nice. I'm glad to see the mega made it. Three manure wagons. Uh, we got a mower and then the crone. So if you need to mow. They basically give you everything that you need. We've got several different windrows. So we've got two pages of windrows. <laughs> but what's cool is the merge max is in here. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to do the change sides things on the mer change th side thing on the merge max. That's uh, The merge max is kind of cool because you can, you know, have it uh, spread on the left, right, or center. Uh, and then on top of it, you can kind of take, like, three rows and merge it to one side and then three rows and merge it to the other side and get six rows into one row. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to do that with this one, but anyway, it's here. We have uh, the Hibiscus 1550 CD Profi. Uh, and then we also have our, uh, we have a square baler and a, a pickup wagon. You'll notice there is no wraps for silage bales. So silage has to be made at the cow facility and also at the uh, biogas facility. And also we have auger wagons in the game, which is pretty cool. Um, that's something I think that's new for the mobile games because you're actually moving materials in this one rather than just uh, um, well, the way it used to be with the old version of the game. Uh, with the older versions of the mobile, you just you didn't really unload or load or move materials. You couldn't dump them on the ground. I don't know that you can dump them on the ground in this one either, but it's a little bit more realistic in how it works. This guy, is he still... What's going on with my harvester? He's still going. I thought he'd be filled by now. Sorry, it's chopping a little bit. But uh, let's go ahead and pick this up. So yeah, I don't think you can un you I don't think you can dump the grain on the ground because there's really no way to pick it up. We don't have any front loaders, wheel loaders, telehandlers, skid steers, anything like that in this version of the game. So material stays in the trailer unless you're bailing it or doing a loading wagon to pick it up. But this makes a loading wagon a pretty viable option for your cows. Sorry it's loud in here, I know. Sweet. Oh, 
Okay, now that he's... Oh, shoot. Ah. Yes, Arthur can't drive. Dang it, and now he's going to run off. I was going to try to unload him, but we can't now because he's off. Shoot. Shizzle, shizzle me sticks. There we go. That's a better view. All right. The map is beautiful. I do like the map. I think it's pretty cool for a mobile map to have this as much 3D texture and detail as we do. Uh, take a look around the tractor here once again, and you can see down there the beautiful valley and cars going by and stuff. Let's change into our case tractor. There we go. Once again, should we have a different cockpit? So let's jump in. And, yep, we have the case cockpit in here. And while they're going ahead and finishing up that field, we're going to tour around a little bit. Let's go ahead and open our map. And we're going to take a look at the cow facility, which is right to our right. Um, but this is the field of the map. Once again, it is kind of Ravenport-ish. A very hilly map. There is no terrain deformation, so don't worry about that. Um, you can see here where we have the feeding stuff around here. That's where we get the milk. This is where we put our FUD. Now, I think, and I could be wrong about this, but I think this game works differently in that there is no TMR. So there will be no total mixed ration. All you do is feed the cow, you know, the cows. You put straw in. You put, uh, I don't even know if you give them silage. You might just put grass in. I'll have to, we'll figure that out as we do the gameplay. Uh, there's no forestry. Um, some of the mobile editions had forestry in the past, but we don't have any right now. Um, let's see. Yeah, see, it looks like we put, uh, what's that? That's hay, I think, or straw. That's going to be s some kind of food silage, maybe. Sorry for the chop. That's where we actually bring the chop. Oh, you can't just buy animals at the farm. You have to go get a trailer like I said earlier and pick the animals up from a dealership uh, and that's how you do that so let's see what is these these are that's our seed and fertilizer up ahead that's where we get seed and fertilizer from so some of these things come from like farm sim 13 slash the mobile editions oh my god sorry about the chop guys we're just having internet issues uh, what is this Okay, this is our silo for storing grain, so we can store grain at the farm, which is cool. Uh, but that's where manure comes out. So I don't know. I guess we must not feed them silage. It looks like we give them, we feed them hay, and they get straw, and that's it. That looks like that's all they, uh, that we do with the cows, hay and straw, and they'll make milk. So the game really kind of simplifies the whole formula. There's no TMR or anything like that. Um, across the street here we have our, oops, whoops, back up. We've got our tractor dealership. We have Carter's service. We'll pull in there and see what they have to tell us. Uh, there is also a facility slash car wash. So I think the tractors will get dirty. And you pull here and it washes and watch. Dink. Now the tractor's not dirty so I didn't get charged. But if you pull over that and you have your tractor out, um, it'll... It'll, you get charged, and it'll clean your tractor. Farm machine. So maybe this is just where you pick them up. I think you buy in. Well, oh, there's the service thing. Let's see what this does here. Oh, that's gasoline. So I think you just sell your tractors through the menu. We'll go through the interface in a minute. But um, anyway, we'll just kind of. I want to show you some of the map. Uh, we do have horses in this version. Uh, so that's new for uh, the mobile version. We also have the full feature of crops that we have in Farm Sim 19. So for those of you that have been wanting to play 19 or get the new crops but are stuck playing mobile slash iOS, uh, you now have an opportunity to have those crops that everybody else has had for all for the 19 players. So yeah. it's a little bit easier to drive from inside. Here's the horsey farm. Helper E has completed their task. Excellent. Excellent. Um... I love the stables. This is great. These look really nice. So once again, we put. Uh, it looks like we put hay in. I'm surprised they don't take oats. Um, there might be a bin somewhere for oats. But hay and straw for sure is what the animals are going to have. Water is over there. There's a water. Uh, that's where you get water from. Maybe you have to come over here if you have cows. You have to come over to this farm and grab it from the where the horses are. 
Uh, we'll play around with all this when we do our series on this game. Um, and yeah, this is where that's where I think I can never tell the difference between the symbols. That must be hay, and the other one's the straw. And that's where we dump the horses when we get them. Um, you do have to ride the horses every day. I'm not sure in this game if they're, it makes the horse more valuable if you ride them, but I think it probably does. So anyway, that's the horse farm. So that gives you kind of an idea of what the map looks like. We'll be going more in depth with the map um, as we play. But uh, that is our our uh, the way the map looks. So let's go ahead and... Uh, go ahead and go through the interface now. Uh, we did go through the shop already, so you guys got to see that. Uh, let's go ahead and hop in here. So once again, this is our map. We do have a sh this is the whole map, by the way. You can't really zoom in any more than what we see here. We have the shop. Uh, we have uh, up at the top there. We have the grain mill. There's a sheep pasture, so you can you can raise sheep. You're gonna need a mower for that because they also eat hay and grass. Uh, we have the wool and yarn up on the left side there. That's where you sell your. Um, sheep stuff i think you also take the um cotton there uh we have grain mills we have a shop what else, what else is exciting we have the biogas plant over on the right um the livestock thing is down on the left big joe's farmer market and there's a pig enclosure so we also can do pigs uh, a lot of fields to pick from you have to uh, tap on the little plus which for some reason i have a very hard time doing um let's see if i can do it nope i didn't do it dang it Come on. My fingers are big and they're not super sensitive. Bye. Okay, there we go. You have $99,000. The price of the field is 40, 400 and, <laughs> 400 and 200 and <laughs> it's 441,672. Do you want to buy more coins? Well, no, because I'm cheap. Uh, not yet. Um but you can buy fields just like you could in the older versions of Farm Sim. So that's there. Uh, you can't buy land like you do in 19, though. So you just buy, you know, for those of you, most of the people on watching this video are probably going to be my 19 viewers. Um, but uh, you cannot buy that. So it's a little different than 19 there. Uh, but we do have a biogas facility, and it looks pretty cool. We'll play with that, too, as we play the series here. Um, but that's the whole map. So let's go ahead and shows those points of interest. We can also see... Um, Let's see, overview fields, overview vehicles. It shows us where all the vehicles are on the map. We can reset them from here, I think. Let me click on that one. Let's see, I'm clicking on the green one. It's not, no. Oh, it's got it highlighted now. Yes, and I can reset it. So even my fat fingers can get that. We can see the soil. It looks like there might only be one stage of fertilization. So that's pretty cool. So you just have to fertilize once. You don't have to do like 50... It's like the simple version of everything. Uh, cultivated, growing, ready to harvest, harvesting. So showing the, the status of all of our fields. You can see one and two are my fields. Three is also my field. Uh, they're all um, harvested or cultivated, so we need to start planting crops. Um, and this shows what was on the fields. Uh, you can just match the color up and see what you're growing. Sweet. Okay. I wonder if we can mow around. Oh, look, it's nighttime. Hey, the lights are on. Ooh, pretty sunset. Look at that. Very nice. So, yeah. So, if you're looking for, you know, the mobile version, this comes out on December 3rd. Um, it's looking pretty cool. You know, like I said, it's for, for a mobile version, it's pretty full-featured, um, and it's cheap. Once again, I'm not sure about for the Switch. We'll have to see, but it's still going to be fun. And the Switch will have a, a upgrade on the graphics, too, because it's, it's going to be able to do 1080p. So, the screen will probably be bigger, smaller icons, a little bit more... Um, Ooh, look at the market prices are changing as we're watching because time is sped up. That's why. Ah. Now, you can see here we have si we have a silo, and we do have product in the silo. And let's go through the crops real quick because that is kind of important. We have ev – oops, I took too long. <laughs> There's my wife. <laughs> Hold on. Here I am blabbing away, and we go to sc uh, save screen. All right, so we have uh, wheat, barley, oats, canola. We have carrots. Just kidding. That's a sugar beet. Doesn't that look like a carrot? Uh, cotton, wool, and you can see cotton's worth a ton. So if you have a big field, it's worth planting. If you have small fields, it's not, but it's big, big fields, yes. Uh, we have milk, and I think that's, is that it? Um, oh, I missed this page. Uh, sunflowers, 
soybean, corn, and potatoes. So we've got all the crops that are in the full version of the game, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, we also have, this shows your vehicles. This is where you sell them from. You can pick, like, the Robbie. I have no idea what the Robbie is, but you got your case. You got your New Holland and the header. Um, and then we have, let's see, our finances. There are no loans, I don't think. Let's check. This shows, let's see, harvest income, sold vehicles. Can we take a loan out? Nope, no loan. So your loan is real. If you want, if you want to take money out, you got to pay with real money. <laughs> they got you over a barrel. Settings, you can turn the graphics on high, medium. Hey, I had mine on ultra high before. They turned them off. Dang it! Oh well. Uh, frame rates do go down when you put it on the higher setting, but it's still fine. This is your animal status page. Since I have no animals, there's nothing there right now. But as we play the game, you'll get to see that some uh, statistics. This shows you how much we've worked. Driving distances, all that good stuff. Um, fuel usage, seed usage. So this kind of keeps track of all the things that you've done. There is a tutorial menu in here in case you get lost and you need to read about what to do. Fodder. Fodder is any product specifically used to take care of your animals, including grass, hay, straw. Uh, grass and hay. Grass is cut with a mower. Use a tether. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so it has all the statistics in there, and then you can quit the game. So that pretty much covers the whole thing. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to uh, see more of this game uh, tonight and have if you have questions or you want to see me do something specifically, I am going to be live streaming tonight. That's going to be um, starting at around 10 p.m. global management time. That's in the U.K., 10 p.m. Uh, in the U.S., that will equate to about 5 p.m. Uh, I'll probably stream for about an hour and a half, two hours, so that means it will take us to 7 o'clock in the U.S., uh, Eastern Standard Time uh, and about midnight here. Uh, and then I might take a break and then we'll come back on again for another hour later on. But uh, if you have any questions or, or, you know, are looking for information about my wife, that's the frick. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and now you know my cold code if you ever steal my phone. <laughs> uh, if you have any, if you have any, uh, are looking for any, you know, any questions or any information you want to join the stream, uh, my stream information is in the description, but it's www.twitch.tv slash V as in victory, B as in bravo, L U guitar. So V blue guitar with no E. There's no E in blue. V B L U guitar. And that is once again going to be in uh, um, the description below. So click on my Twitch uh, and please feel free to join us. I'd love to see you there. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I will be making videos today on this game, and we'll be playing around. And like I said, the question and answer time comes tonight. So I will see you tonight, and uh, have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And we'll see you in the next exciting episode of Farming Simulator 20. Bye. <laughs>